Welcome back. We're in Rice's Appliance Kitchen with Liz and Jordan from Daiquiri Deck. Wow, what is no. going on? It's a party. What are you guys making? Well, we're making our signature, our 1993 margarita, one of the drinks that we feature during Taco Tuesday. And so I see 1993 was the name for the chocolate, and now the name... No, no, the, the chocolate is just a chocolate. Just chocolate. Bag. Okay, chocolate. so is 93 then the throwback to your first year? Yes. I love oh, that. Yeah. All right, Very so nice. you're going to tell us how to make a 93 margarita. Yeah, it's a, it's everyone should know how to make a margarita. It, it's a very simple drink, so anyone who but doesn't. But most people do it wrong. All right, I gotta well, tell we're going to do it right for them I, today. Okay, you teach bit. us how. So the first thing we're going to do is put a nice salt rim on the glass. Okay. So we have oh, some lime nice. juice, and we're just rimming the end of the glass. You do that first. Yes, we're going to run the you salt don't through there. The glass. And then what I like to do is just simply tap oh. it off because you don't want too much salt in your drink just on the limb. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. All right. Now, we are going to get an equal amount of ice we want to go into the drink. So we're not mixing in that drink, we've already got salt rim. We're gonna shake it in a shaker so it's frothy and perfectly Ooh. mixed together. Yeah, because the shaking actually matters, right? I don't think you can really disperse the ingredients in a drink well with that. Okay, because it doesn't froth if you don't shake. I know so that. So we are gonna add an ounce and a half of tequila, in this case, Jose Cuervo Silver. Okay. How and do you know that's an ounce and a half? Because this I have experience? been pouring like that <laughs> since <laughs> before Liz that's was born. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing how bar half an ounce now. of Grand Gala. Like a good cook. We're going to put in about a half an ounce of orange juice. Orange juice in a margarita just adds a little bit of sweetness to all oh. of the acidity that's in there, and it gives the drink some nice balance. Mm -hmm. We're going to put about three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. So no mix at Daiquiri Deck. And then, no, we do. And this one, will we have a St. Armand's margarita? Okay. Um, which uses agave nectar and oh, fresh sure. squeezed lime juice. Yep. On this one, what we use is a product called Lemon X. There's no um, fructose corn syrup. Oh, it's made good. with plain, plain, excuse me, cane sugar. Cane sugar, uh, yep. No artificial preservatives, no food dye. Perfect. So if you're going to use a sour mix, this is about as clean of a one as I'll yep. be able to find. So we are going to top it off about three ounces. And I liked how you said that you are really hard on the people you source your ingredients from, that you demand a lot of them, the flavors of the chocolate, the natural of the mix. We're lucky. We've got some great partners. Yeah, that's awesome. That's important. And, all right, you ready? Here we go. Nate, you ready? Okay. All right, I okay. get to. Hold the top. Come on, hold sing the, bottom, the song as you do it, it. Show us the guns and give it a good shake. Shake, okay, rattle, now. roll. Watch out now if I mess up. Uh, uh, rattle, roll. <laughs> roll. I'm going to shake. Rattle, <laughs> roll. Shake. <laughs> Yeah. I have never it's seen way it. Way more fun when Nate does it. I have never seen it done with more style than that. That was fantastic. And we're simply going to pour. All right. Well, as he pours the margarita, we're going to talk to Liz a little bit about the tacos and what makes Taco Tuesday so special. Sure. Well, we have a variety of tacos to choose from um, our pulled pork, our ground beef, chicken, and then our black and mahi and our black and shrimp tacos, black and gulf shrimp. We top it with a little lettuce, some melted cheese, uh, and we top it with our homemade pico de gallo. So that's got your tomatoes, onion, a little bit of jalapeno, some lime juice, some salt and pepper, a little vinegar. It's really good. Wow. Yeah, do you want to top it for good. us? Yeah, get Linda okay, working down there. Do? All right, so here's a serving spoon. Just get a little little going on oh, each of these over here. On each one? Yeah. Oh, this is hard to do. Oh. <laughs> it's all good. Hey, we like it messy at the daiquiri. That's why I come to daiquiri deck, because it's so much easier when you do it. Listen, plating is not an easy job. No. That's for sure. All right, Nate, I want you to try the fruits of your labor. I got to point out the size of the straw. They don't mess around at daiquiri deck. We aren't just oh, hurry, huh? <laughs> that now, is a wow. big old straw. Now, the one thing I wanted to offer to you, Nate, we, we do do this. We offer an additional shot, an additional tutor in all of our drinks. Are you driving today? I am. So okay, no, no, good right. question. Yeah. But yeah. if you're not, or you're headed to the beach to relax, you can always get a little something, something extra from Daiquiri Deck. All right, Please thank enjoy. you, cheers. We are celebrating 25 years of the Daiquiri Deck here on the Sun Coast. Staple in our beach communities, great way to celebrate everything that is the Sun Coast. So head out, especially on Tuesdays. Yes. And join Liz Tuesday. for Taco Tuesdays and Linda. raise a glass to celebrate the Daiquiri Deck. All right, Nate, good day to be here, huh? We're having some I fun. Know. Uh, I know. Really We're glad day. you're here. All right, everybody, enjoy the rest of your day. Take some time. Enjoy the Sun Coast view. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.